A little over a year ago, I saw this video by Smoke Monster about how to get a Neo Geo for $35. He was talking about getting a Neo Geo MBS, which is a Neo Geo arcade system that would connect to arcade cabinets using this JAMA interface. Then all you would need is something called a Super Gun, which allows you to connect to that arcade system using the JAMA connector and have controllers, power for the arcade PCB, and RGB output. He mentions a few different types of super guns that were available at the time. Most of them are no longer available or the wait list is really long. For example, the home arcade system or Haas, if you try to go to the pre-order website, looks like the pre-orders are shut down. You can't even get in line to get one. For the Parsec, there's a wait list. It looks like the last batch was in December 17th of last year. The Sentinel Super Gun is no longer being made because the creator, Frank, has moved on to focusing on his minigun super gun. And that's actually what I have. I have the minigun super gun. And the cool thing about it is it's an open source project. All you have to do is order a PCB and all the parts and you can have yourself a working super gun. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you how to find the project files, order a PCB and all the parts. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to put it all together. This is gonna seem complicated at first, but you don't even need any electronics experience. If you can read directions and you can solder, then you can build the minigun. Let's take a look at the arcade projects post for the minigun. In order for us to create one of these, the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is download the project files. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this minigun version 2.5 final. There's actually two versions of it now. It looks like there was an update since I last did this. There's one version that outputs RGB on a mini DIN 8 cable, which is the same cable actually used by the NES RGB. Looks like there was an updated version that uses the Genesis 2 style mini DIN cable. You could choose whichever version of the minigun that you'd like. Maybe if you already have one or the other of those two cables, that's what I would go with. With that in mind, I'm gonna choose the NES RGB version because the NES RGB cable actually has a detachable audio cable that can hook into the stereo mod of the Neo Geo. If you want to use arcade PCBs that actually have a separated audio output, you might wanna choose that NES RGB style cable. First things first, let's download this zip file. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go through how to order the PCB for this project. Inside of that zip file, you'll find a folder called Gerber's. Gerber files are actually PCB design files. Frank has released these files so that we can create our own minigun. In your browser, go ahead and go to oshpark.com. You might have to create an account, but after that, go ahead and find that zip file that you found earlier and click and drag it into that let's get started area. After those Gerber files load into Oshpark, it'll actually come up with an image of what the finalized PCB is going to look like, as well as the cost. If you look over here, you can see that the cost is $42.95, but you actually get three PCBs. So this is actually a good project that you could share with a couple of friends if they're also interested in getting into arcade stuff. Go ahead and order those PCBs from Oshpark. All right, now that we've got our PCBs ordered, Let's change our attention to all the other components that need to get soldered to that PCB. If you go back into that zip file, you'll notice this bomb folder or bill of materials folder. Go ahead into that folder and you'll see two sets of BOMs. One is for extra parts and one is for the PCB itself. A bill of materials is going to be a list of all the parts that you're going to need to solder onto that PCB. And thankfully Frank has compiled this awesome list where all you have to do is buy everything on the list and you know that you have everything that you need to build your own super gun. It might seem daunting to have to look through a giant list of materials that you're gonna to need to source from different places, but it's actually really easy. Go back to your browser and go to DigiKey. At the top of the DigiKey website, there's actually a BOM manager. So we're actually gonna click into that and we're gonna to go to upload BOM. Go ahead and find that PCB CSV file and open it up in DigiKey. Once you've uploaded that bomb file to DigiKey, they should automatically detect some of these rows like manufacturer part number, manufacturer, digikey part number. You may have to select this reference designator and I would probably select this description as customer reference. These descriptions are gonna show up on the bag of parts. That way when you get this giant box of parts, you'll know exactly what each part goes to on the board. Go ahead and click add to BOM. And then on the next page, go ahead and click this checkbox at the top here, which will select all the items in your bill of materials and click add to cart. Sometimes when you're trying to add these materials to your cart, it might tell you that your quantities are suboptimal. Basically it's telling you if you change your quantity to something a little bit different, you may actually get a cheaper price than what you're trying to add to your cart now. In my case, there are these capacitors here with a quantity of nine. Let's click view options to see what they can change. If I change it to 10 instead of nine, I actually get a cheaper price. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to those extra PCB items. 
Looks like all these parts come out to $57.99, so go ahead and place your order with DigiKey. Now, that's not actually everything. You're gonna need a couple of more things, and then you're gonna need some tools to put all this stuff together. In order to power my Neo Geo MV1C, I bought this Meanwell RT65A, which has just enough power and the right voltages so that we could power that Neo Geo PCB. You're definitely going to want to look and see if the arcade PCB that you have can be powered by this power supply. Otherwise, you might have to get a higher powered one, but I highly recommend these Meanwell power supplies. And in order to connect that PCB to the minigun when you get it, you're going to actually need to create your own power cable. In order to do that, you're gonna need a Molex pin crimper. I have this one here. I'll leave a link to where I got it in the description. The other thing that you're gonna to want to go along with that is a Molex pin remover, which will actually remove those Molex pins after you inevitably make a mistake. You'll need some wire to make that cable and I'll put that link in the description too. The only other thing that you're gonna need is a soldering iron. I'm gonna use my trusty Heiko FX888D. I know that was a lot to go over, so I'm gonna leave the assembly of the minigun for part two. I'll see you in the next video.